Cozy Four. The Cozy Four, the Normies. I don't know what they'll ever call us. It's the Normies, the Cozy Four. We're back to watch more BoJack Horseman Season 2, Episode 5, Chickens. I like to eat chickens. Oh. Hey, um, Will Arnett, chickens. <laughs> I have no idea. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, I did. Good job. I binged that. Good job. <laughs> oh, you need to watch that. that that's a good one. <laughs> I binged it, but like, I don't know. Binging... Has anybody's family ever seen Chick? <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways. Anyway, sorry guys. Anyway, kind of on topic. We'll oh, Jack. Uh, chickens. Uh, season gonna... 2 has been hilarious to me. I think season 2 is my favorite so far. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think as far as season 1, now you know the character, so they're just going right into like the... The deep stuff. Yeah, 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 it's getting real funny to me too. And I remember last season being slightly a little bit more episodic, like like they would kind of pick up from, you know, where the last episode left off. But this this season so far has been kind of just standalone episodes, yeah. Yeah. in my opinion, so far. Gotcha. Uh, but they've been really good. They've been really. I mean, it's been. I, I overall, it's been better season for sure. The the oh, yeah. like I said, the, I mean, like you said, the characters are established so. Yeah, I I really hope I see more Princess Caroline. She cracks me up, dude. Yeah, let's yeah. let's let's just jump into it, shall we? Chickens, yes. chicken nuggets. I like chicken nuggets. Every fucking. Chicken we can make healthy chicken nuggets. I wonder if there's gonna be a chicken eating chicken nuggets. Um, did you do yeah. your homework? I want chicken for days. Oh, oh it's chicken for days. It's chicken for days. <laughs> Everybody's having fun at chicken for days. So ask questions, just keep eating. Okay. Oh, they have Over heat? at Chicken for Days, nope. they pump their chickens full of hormones and keep them cooped up. Uh, what the fuck? Here at General Farms, we treat our livestock differently. Lush field, plenty of dignity. The chickens here have wonderful lives before we uh, harvest them so you can eat them. Why? He's a chicken himself. These animals aren't like us. They're specifically bred to be eaten and genetically modified for maximum flavor. When our chicks are first hatched, we lovingly inject them with nectar. Oh my god. I mean, this is all true, too, probably. They're just like murdering their own people. What the fuck? Oh, his car's so cracked, but. Oh my god. Okay. He is a terrible driver. Seriously, in the heat right here. <laughs> Chicken for days. Chicken for days? Oh. Oh, they're not gonna know it's a real chicken. It's a. Oh my god, I bet this that chicken weird. becomes famous somehow. This is I bet that chicken is gonna like. This is fucked up. Like, <laughs> that's a really so messed up episode. This but I bet. It's like the Catch Me Outside Girl. It's gonna be. It's gonna be somehow. This is Ended fun. up at Beverly Hills. Like, what else could it be? Yeah, it's like some like idiot, like getting famous no, for no reason, like that Catch Me Outside Girl. Yeah. Like, no talent, getting famous. I, yeah, Terrible. I bet it's gonna. Dude, be they so, they dude, raise you know, chickens. Dude, this was really messed up. I don't know if you remember. They this. raise chickens to be some to be real, like chickens to get education it, stuff. It's, and it's, then they raise others, inject them with shit to be like eaten. There's and like, then one just like, like one chicken, and then chickens you can eat. Like and chi- then, it's a chicken farm raised by chickens. And then the chicken you can eat, the Holy chicken shit. you can eat just escaped. Diane, I need you to handle Irving. Handle her. Irving it's take your daughter to work day. I took my daughter to work. She got empowered. Oh, this is uh. Yeah. The director is Maria Bamford. Well, I guess you're stuck with me, kiddo. Sounds great, old woman. Oh. <laughs> What's on the agenda, my friend? Well, here's an idea. What if there was a West Dakota? Todd, isn't that a job for the State Department? <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say, you gotta spend money to make money. That's true. So how can I spend a lot of money? I know, I'll take a spa day. We're in the middle of a meeting. <laughs> well, you know what they say, you gotta skip meetings to <laughs> <laughs> oh, Purpose, oh, are you high? Oh, in the normal amount. Okay, look, I gotta go. They're about to step on the glass. Just stay out. Oh my God. Oh, there's the chicken. That's, that's one of the chickens that escaped. Uh, that's oh. the only one. Oh, I remember now. So we know the chicken crossed the road. <laughs> but the real mystery is, why? <laughs> First, I'm gonna go the first. fuck out of here. Go this whole attitude you're putting on, I must be Shania Twain because that don't impress Shania me much. Her. Is that a reference from the 90s? <laughs> you know that was 20 years ago, right? <laughs> I was this badass overachiever that had these big plans to change the world. Yeah? What happened? Oh, you didn't hear? I changed the world. What? what? 
I made you a sandwich. Oh, but it has turkey in it. Is that kind of weird? Ew, oh. ew, yeah. Who's this? Uh, <laughs> this is my, uh, my, my wife. Baka! Baka, yeah, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yep, she loves her books. Big reader. <laughs> Real nerd. Baka! Back off. <laughs> Baka! Who's your favorite Baroque composer? <laughs> Mark! Bah. Bah. Not Vivaldi? You're insane. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Who's your favorite Baroque composer? And now, you're the booking agent for Kings of Leon. Book back. Fine. You also book back. Book back. But she was just trained from the start to be slaughtered, right? Yeah, yeah. they like injected her. It's too real, dude. It's too real. Do you know how much trouble we could get in? There's a policeman in our front yard. Uh-oh, here comes a responsible suburban housewife. <laughs> Gonna do whatever the man says. That's not who she what used to be. Lead. Let's get out of here. So now what? you're gonna do whatever a teenage girl says? Oh Jay my god, slap Jay-Z completely grow her. a spine. Backbone? Yeah, or a backbone. <laughs> 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 Just me, my wife, and our teenage daughter, and our maid. What? Why am I a maid? Silence, maid! <laughs> <laughs> well, there's not too much traffic on the 134. Why is me having a fuzzy face just, like, still there? Like, go away. The 134 doesn't go to the beach, <laughs> unless you took it to the 10. But then why wouldn't you take the 405 to the 10? Hold on. This pin isn't a pick. No! No! <laughs> Wait! That man's wife was a chicken! <laughs> Damn, yeah, my fuzzy face tearing it out. Yo, <laughs> Yoko Ono. <laughs> Yoko Ono. Admit it, you counted your chickens before they had, <laughs> and now those chickens have come home to roost. Now I want to take full responsibility for this mishap. That's why, for a limited time, everybody, we are offering our special full responsibility poppers at participating restaurants for only full <laughs> responsibility. Oh my god. Companies always do that shit. <laughs> yeah. Apology is so fucking horrible. This chicken is not socialized for the outside world. Sounds like my ex-wife. <laughs> I kind of want to see what an actual chicken thinks about all this, you know what I mean? Like a chicken living in their society. The farm was run by chickens. No. <laughs> I'd like to take this moment to apologize for the earlier crack about my ex-wife. <laughs> Shannon, we shared 14 <laughs> years together. How do you respond to allegations <laughs> that factory farming is torture or cruel or like a terrible movie like about some strange dystopian society? But we'll bring your daughter home dead or alive. A lie. A lie. Dead or alive. Dead or ma'am. We'll probably make the right call. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. All right, troops, listen up. I'm ready to go after these rabble rousers. Oh, no. Not until you get a warrant. Rabble rousers. Damn it. I hate due process. You're a loose cannon, meow, meow. <laughs> the camera swivel. <laughs> Maybe, but a loose cannon? Is that what you guys think of me? I just think you play by your own rules. No way. <laughs> These rules are meant to be broken. These are all attributes of a loose cannon. <laughs> I'm just a reckless renegade. Sergeant Stone's a loose cannon. Oh, you <laughs> shut your trap, fuzzy face. Yeah, I'd say Stone's more of a cop on the edge with nothing to lose. <laughs> It was like every description of any cop character from any saying. show. Yay! I'm calling this road trip the 007 because we are gonna bond on top demo. That burrito just put them all to sleep. Yep. <laughs> Thank you for saving this poultry from a terrible life at a factory farm. You're a hero. But what if Chicken for Days tries to get her back? Oh, don't you worry about your friend. That chicken belongs to us now. Wow, oh. where'd you get that gun? You mean originally or just now? <laughs> it's in that barrel. <laughs> what about originally? Also that barrel. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is hard, but I have to go, and you can't come with me. Book back. No, no, you don't need to book back anymore. <laughs> now you can just be a chicken. You hear me? I don't want you no more. <laughs> you weren't the best friend I ever had, and I never <laughs> loved you. No, get back up! <laughs> I said get! <laughs> oh, poor Todd. I don't understand why you need me to like you so much. I don't need you to like me. Uh, it would be fun if you liked me, because then I could prove to myself that my parents were wrong to never support me, because I now earn the admiration of a surrogate authority figure, thus oh. proving I have intrinsic worth, but it's not like it's a big deal. <laughs> 
Jack, you should put that in a podcast so I can unsubscribe. Can this piece of junk go any faster? Yeah, it's been acting screwy since I hit that deer a couple weeks back. Probably should get it checked out. No, no. <laughs> This doesn't feel right. <laughs> Becca was our friend. We got to get her back. Uh, there's nothing we can do. Where else would Becca go? She doesn't even speak English. Well, so? I mean, we got to do something. Look, I know I'm just a screw up and all my ideas are terrible, but with Becca, I was responsible for something. I had a purpose. Ah, uh, I guess you want to understand. <laughs> Damn. They keep getting dirt. I ain't kissing yeah. everybody. Hey, and afterwards, will you give me an iPad? What? No! But I really want an iPad! <laughs> Maybe you want an iPad. <laughs> 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 nah. Alright, alright, we've agreed. Loose. I can live with that. Something to prove and nothing to lose. What's the one that was crossed out? Poker uh, with a heart of gold. gold. <laughs> word that authorities are now en route to Gentle Farms in an attempt to preempt the pursued poultry at the pass. Do we have a graphic for this? No? Where's the graphic? No, I'm not going to go on until we have a graphic. So make one. I'll wait. Yeah, hold on, America. Randy's got to figure out how to do his job. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a graphic, Randy. People who are just tuning in, why am I explaining this to you? This is basic journalistic, I swear to God! <laughs> are you capable of experiencing a single moment that you don't then make about you? What was your plan to get out of here? I don't know, some hick will come by at some point and I'll give him an autograph in exchange for a toe. Boom, his life's changed and you and I are on our way. Oh my God. I'm gonna lose custody of my daughter. Aww. This is my one shot at a big studio movie, and if I blow it, I'm back to making small, critically acclaimed movies about lesbians learning how to recycle. <laughs> I'm a terrible mother. Hey, I know terrible mothers, and you're not a terrible mother. Hey, aren't you the horse from Horsin' Around? <laughs> and you're the director of Women Who Love Women Who Love Recycling. <laughs> Give you a lift in exchange for a couple of autographs. <laughs> <laughs> Right on time. Everyone, keep quiet. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Why is it recall? Irving, this isn't safe for you. Get in the car and lock the doors. Don't try to be a badass and argue with me. Yeah, okay, bye. Oh. Where's your Becca? At least Diane told her to get the fuck out of there. Who's making that ruckus in my chicken coop? Who's making that ruckus? Becca, where are you? Becca, are you? Welcome back. Look back. <laughs> no. No way. Diane, this one's Becca. No, Todd. Don't you get it? They're all Becca. <gasps> okay, go. <laughs> Diane takes a little shoebox. <laughs> go, go, go! Uh, uh, hide, hide! In here! Oh no. Oh god, that's oh, a no. Oh no. Oh, ew. Hey, <laughs> back out! No, 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 no. Only we know how to care for these creatures, you hear? Like I say, no one knows chicken like chickens. He's oh, so <laughs> that's fucking frightening, dude. <laughs> I don't know why I always get into these messes. You know, sometimes I feel like my whole life is just a series of loosely related wacky misadventures. <laughs> I think that's just what being in your 20s is. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. supposed to be the adult here, and I'm a total mess. Are you kidding? You're the coolest person I know. Really? Yeah, and you always know what to do, and you don't take shit for anyone. Is that how you see me? Of course. You're like Laurel Croft mm -hmm. I love in that. Diane's body. <laughs> <laughs> That's an insult. Take me with you. I hate it here. I don't want to kill chickens. I want to design video games that help kids learn math. Oh. Wow. This kid. Oh. Okay, that was crazy. Just go. Take her with you. <laughs> That's so fucked up, dude. <laughs> so messed up. Mr. Fuzzy Face. Oh no. Looks like birds of a feather <laughs> go to jail. <laughs> Why was he wearing sunglasses at night? <laughs> <laughs> what do they need these angles? <laughs> that tie does the police. Mom, I'm fine. Stop embarrassing me in front of my cool friends. What? Uh, cool. I mean, that's 
cool that you think I'm cool. I don't care or anything, but you know, it's cool. <laughs> hey, this guy, what'd you get arrested for? Being too cute. Aww. I'm gonna have to ask you to drop all charges against my friends on account of me being a celebrity. Okay. Well, you are famous, so you are all free to go. <laughs> Oh, what about Becca? <laughs> Took care of that, too. Called in my last favor with Drew Barrymore, and she's gonna pay off chicken for days to adopt your fine-feathered friend. Oh Does she God. have a meadow that Becca can frolic around in? You think Drew Barrymore doesn't have a frolicking meadow? That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> you know, I learned something today. Sometimes when you think something isn't about you, you find a way to save the day and end the end. This is not about him at all. God. Plus, I got you all a burrito truck! I love it. I love it. It's all about Bojack always. <laughs> so, after all that, the only thing that saved Becca was that Bojack was friends with Drew Barrymore? Yep. So did anything we did matter? Nope. I think it did. <laughs> It did make a difference. I think we really changed things for the better. You're saying it's so <laughs> cut too? Oh, yeah. wow. Damn. Oh, that's yeah, so true. Up. It's just true. <laughs> this is a reason, dude. You guys know I like barely eat meat anymore. Oh, that's, it's man. weird. It's getting weird now. That was, it gets weird to eat meat sometimes. That was dark. That yeah, was pretty dark. That was just made me want to become vegetarian. <laughs> hey, man. I love KFC, fam. I, love I know, you know how ter terrible, terribly they treat their chickens. Yeah, I know, you they told me. the whole process. Didn't you the, tell me like they hold the their... Episode. But you don't know, like KFC, yeah, yeah, it's probably the same. Hey. <clears throat> Popeyes, KFC $5 box. Dude, I guess I'm making my stomach turn. Popeyes is the shiznit. I mean, it's just... Unfortunately. <laughs> did you hear, like, the, the low-key deep stuff they were saying really quickly about, like, oh, something, something, how we're the dominant species, and from their point of view, it's like a, a post-apocalyptic disturbance. Just, yeah, bro, did you see these pictures out there of, like... What animals would do to us if things were switched? Like what it's we do, scary. what we've done to the animal kingdom is pretty fucked up. Like if you look at what we've done to cows in general, like we fucking like take cows milk, we breed their babies, we eat their babies, we slaughter them. You know, it's like it's it's destruction. Like if, if if you were if you believe in reincarnation and you came back as a cow, you just know you fucked up in your past life. Oh my you know? god! <laughs> like, think about it. In my opinion, I mean, I don't, yeah, but. And, I mean, and, and in my opinion, <laughs> the only type of cows out there that get the best treatment oh my God, here we go. are the, the Wagyu's. Because them motherfuckers, for the, all their lives that they, they're alive, they get treated to beer, good, good, like. Well, that's beer. what this whole metaphor good treatment. was gentle yeah. farms versus uh, you know, chickens good for treatment days. And yeah, all so like what's shit. better, gentle farms or chickens for days? Look at the gentle farms guy, like, yeah, we don't get the. Well, the gentle farm. Like chicken. Well, the gentle <laughs> farm. I mean, at least the gentle farm gives them a good amount of time to live like a good life and you know, enjoy it and shit like that. You know, I'm not. You uh, know, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and and, and 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 you know, like say that you know, killing animals for food is bad or anything like that. It's definitely not. I feel like human beings in general, because we ate animals, we get gained a lot of intelligence from that. Yeah, I mean, and yeah. we need to eat animals. But I do think some of the ways. Don't that you think like humanity's at a point now where we don't need to like slaughter them that way though? I that, think I think what needs to, and there's okay. certain, there's some religions like take Islam for for instance like there's a yeah. there's a yeah. um, explain there's a um, how do you say this a humane way of killing, killing them halal? you know like well, the halal way yeah, the humane way you don't, don't they gut you through the jugular until you bleed out no Maybe, you don't you don't kill an animal basically in front of another animal because like those animals can sense yeah. what's going on they can feel fear and stuff. So they make sure to kill animals like separate, and they they slaughter it like to where it's like fast, where they like almost like die instantly from like I forgot what's called. And, and and before and like before. And they do like a prayer too. Before, yeah, before and also before dude, every you, killing they do like it, a little prayer. And, and halal, halal meat, meat tastes the best. Yeah, halal meat. Have, if you ever I had, had tried it, at a halal meat oh is God, always the best. So halal good. meat They're always so tastes good. better than regular meat. Anybody would always because, tell you that because like their blood isn't like full of fear. Not, yeah, not full of fear. Fear. But, Something happens to your body when you are experiencing. That's like, why they kill them separately. Anxiety. Yeah, separately. Yeah, because yeah. that's, that's that like thing even that if has you, to even if you've seen animals that they the animals they feel it man they know what's happening you, you've seen pictures of animals tearing up you know because they know I what's going to happen. I went to like my friend's slaughterhouse in like Fishers and I was just like walking through there showing me around and there's like they're killing two sheep like right in front of each other and the other one was like backing up screaming I was like what the fuck yeah you know. So like there's it's a, real. Like animals, you know, they feel, man. Like they, they every every emotion I feel that we feel, they feel. Yeah. And if we don't say they don't, then you know we're really fried in the head. I just say like they the show. They're all you animals. know. And we just need to. I feel like we just need better methods of of of, of killing them. Obviously, because I don't agree with like specialized foods where like like foie gras is really fucked up. How they make that. Uh, right. Foie gras is fattened goose liver, and literally what they do is there's there's just a warehouse full of geese that they force feed. 
like a pound of seed a day and it fattens up their liver and that's like a delicacy i've had foie gras man it's i, I don't i don't agree with like specialized foods like that i've had foie gras. i i think meat is necessary because that's i mean cook, cooked Look, meat is how we up. is how we evolved to where we are and so yeah that is necessary but yeah i do agree we've evolved to a point that maybe we can kill maybe differently we can, maybe we can ease back or kill differently i Just do like that like feel like Sorry, go ahead. No eating Mondays, no meat Monday, and like, yeah, but go on. I was gonna say, like, the worst fate for humanity ever could be if some higher intelligent species came to this planet and, and could literally, like... they could eat us and they harvested us like we did our animals, and we would literally just see what it would be like That's and just like scary. eat worries to That's slaughter scary. or just, you know. Because, man, I, I've had. Japanese Wagyu steak, I had that too. It was good, but that's not specialized. Like the, it's like good specialized, but like I've had like, so like in Chicago, there's this restaurant called GT Prime, and uh, I've had the the luck of eating there because of me working there, and working in Chicago. Yeah, working in Chicago, working in Chicago, and um, some of the items on that menu are like stupid pricey, but they're like so effed up. Like there was something on there called a suckling pig, and like, yeah, man, it just. Mm-mm. Suckling pig. What does it sound like? It's like it's a baby pig. You feel like me? And it's like it, it, it's, it's like all it, all it's been de- done has been suckling his mother's milk, and that's what they eat. You know. And then like for and I've had. I mean, that's disgusting. That's yeah. Anything about so, the episode uh, though, guys? Yeah. Well, the, I mean, we, we yeah, yeah, yeah overall, it, yeah. A, a but um, episode. I was gonna say at the end of the episode where um, what's the daughter's name? The daughter? uh, Irving. Irving. Irving, she was like, did, it, did any of it really even matter? Like, yeah, because it's just matter. Bojack end. was friends with Drew Barrymore. <laughs> yeah, at the like end. The, like, the, <laughs> that didn't even work out, or was that, was that just it like It worked all out. Lives? It worked out. Yeah, man. Of, of course, Drew Barrymore has a frolicking field. It just showed <laughs> Bojack being famous once, like being the car toad for an autograph, using his famous for like getting the, saving the chicken, using him being famous to get the burrito truck. I, I like how the it B just, story met, like, co- Collided with the A story. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it it's just be, like so funny. It's all about Bojack and Ned. Yeah, he's like, yeah, because I still saved the day. And, yeah. and, and, and then it was really funny how they were like, yeah, because you guys are famous, I can let you guys go. And it's kind of true. Like famous people do get off a lot easier on a lot of things, man. It's just facts. Yeah. Well, they I mean, do. And, and, be, and being famous like Bojack and having a high BGTI. ego, but maybe like he, he's got a pretty high ego, but it seems like at times he wants to tone it down. But I think when you're famous like that constantly being recognized constantly being like oh my god you're that guy can I have your autograph it's just like it, it would be hard not to like kind of because i mean it I feels good you know especially for bojack like, after like be, re being famous again because he for yeah, a while he like, literally can't go like one sentence without breaking the conversation right? <laughs> so it was like i'm really famous this, this episode i'm famous <laughs> even though it turned out you know bojack's <laughs> awesome <laughs> helping them out in the end Book back. 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 Well, so, that was so, really good. So why did the gonna... chicken cross the road? <laughs> <laughs> the real question is why. <laughs> so, and now it looks like the chickens have come home to roost. But that that <laughs> oh whole, my oh my god, that was cracking me up. Oh so my god. Good. I love their puns and good. alliterations here. Guys, we're going to continue BoJack. We'll see you later next time. Bye. Oh, Bye. Bye. That was a rooster. Thanks for joining us for BoJack Season 2, Episode 5. Big shout out to our super patrons, Luis, Bear in the Garage, Joe Max, Keyboard Junkie, Toy Soldier, MYR Fan, Robert D, Benjamin F, Cool Cat, and Joey S. Check out our Patreon for uncut and early access content, and we'll see you next time.